everybody. Today I am going to be reading The Smartest Giant in Town by Julia Donaldson. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, said George sadly. So he's feeling a bit embarrassed about his clothes, isn't he? But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes. So he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, some smart socks with diamonds up the side, and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now, I'm the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. George left behind his old clothes in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the pavement was a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long, but so very cold. I wish I had a long, warm scarf. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, he said. As he wound it round and round the giraffe's neck, it made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giraffe. As George strode along home, he sang to himself, my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe, but look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleating loudly. <gasps> What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. And there's Mr. Goat on his boat, very upset without a sail for his boat. What do you think George told him to do? He said, cheer up. And he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming untucked anyway, he said. As he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat, it made a magnificent sail. Thank you, said the goat. George strode on singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. But look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Beside the house, stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. <gasps> What's the matter? asked George. Shame, poor little mice. It's our house, squeaked Mother Mouse. It burnt down. Now we've got nowhere to live. We wish we had a nice new house. And there they are, looking at their burnt house and wishing that they had their old house back again. What do you think George told them to do? He said, cheer up! And he took off one of his nice shiny shoes. It was giving me blisters anyway, he said. As the mouse and her baby scrambled inside, the shoe made a perfect home for them. Thank you! And there they are all getting inside their new house. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. But look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. <clears throat> George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. <gasps> What's the matter? asked George. Shame, he's crying. Poor Mr. Fox. <laughs> it's my sleeping bag, 
said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. And there's his sleeping bag getting all wet. Poor Mr. Fox. What do you think George told him to do? Cheer up, said George. And he took off one of his socks with the diamonds up the side. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said. <laughs> well, we had some noisy children bursting into the library. We were meant to be quiet in the library. <laughs> Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his socks with the diamonds up the side. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said. As the fox snuggled into it, it made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said Mr. Fox. He was very happy. George hopped on singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a big squelchy bog. Beside the bog, stood a dog who was howling. Oh, what's the matter? asked George. It's this bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe dry path. And there's the dog howling next to the bog. And here he is trying to get across the very squelchy bog and he's getting stuck in the mud. What do you think George could do to help him? George told him to cheer up, said George, and he took off his smart new belt. It was squashing my tummy anyway, he said. As he laid it down over the bog, it made an excellent path. Thank you, said the dog. He looks very happy now, doesn't he? The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. But <gasps> my trousers are falling down. I'm the coldest giant in town. Suddenly, George felt very sad and shivery and not at all smart. He stood on one foot and thought, hmm, I'll have to go back to the shop and buy some more clothes, he decided. He turned round and hopped all the way back into town. But when he got there, the shop was closed. Oh no, said George. He sank down onto the doorstep and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals that he had met on his way home. Then, out the corner of his eye, he saw a bag with something familiar poking out of the top. George took a closer look. Oh, my gown, he yelled. My dear old gown and sandals. George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the coziest giant in town, he cried. And he danced back home along the road. So at first he was sad. Then he found his old clothes again and he was smiling. Outside his front door stood all the animals that he had helped. They were carrying an enormous present. Come on, George! They said, open it. George untied the ribbon. Inside was a beautiful gold paper crown and a card. Look inside the card, George, said the animals. George put the crown on his head and opened the card. It's all his friends with his present and his beautiful golden crown. Your tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. Your shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. Your belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. 
So, here is a very fine crown to go with the sandals and gown of the kindest giant in town. And that's a beautiful message all about helping others and helping our friends and how happy it makes us feel inside. Have a beautiful day.